All right, what's up, you two? Logs here, King Twenty Five. We have uh, Kevin here. He got what seventh place? Yeah, seventh. San Jose Original with Cliff Forts. Yep. We tied, and I gotta say this before we start the video. He absolutely dicked the guy that Jude me, so I'm really happy. He destroyed a guy that was a straight douche. You can say about that later if you want. Uh, no, I even in that game, I I started up with like it was in the last round, and I got deck check. Apparently, I, I had some cards extra in my deck box, and I got a I got a game loss for that, and I still two older. Two older, yeah. Clapped yeah. him. Yeah. All right, you want to say anything else before the video starts? Uh, this deck isn't dead. It's like a dick. Anybody else? <laughs> Uh, I'm just kidding, that's about it, right. um, <laughs> it's two stealth, one monolith. Two scout, not stealth. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, two scout, yeah. one monolith, uh, three carrier, three, <clears throat> three helix, same thing. You kind of need to run the third one because you need to make up for uh, nines. Two discs, two's enough. The best pull for it after scout is definitely stealth. This is, I won so many games off of this card, uh, especially against like Satellers. I played against five Satellers, one Wads, and the rest of them were just uh, were Necklots, and then one of them was a uh, was the Spirit Beast, and then yeah, uh, yeah the guy, yeah. yeah. Uh, then the the one the Kitty Cat. Really, just one? Yeah, he's good. Except for the monsters, it's only like 14, 14 monsters. Uh, for the spells, obviously triple stomach art. You run that uh, two duality. I don't like two because sometimes you want to like special summon and just go off, and that's really stops you. Why don't you uh, like upstart? Because I remember we were talking about that earlier. Oh, I don't run upstart because I run soul transition. I think that card's way. Every time I saw an upstart when I was playtesting, I just wish it was a soul transition. Um, after after that, uh, storm. So I think it's a really good card against uh, necklaces. This, this sucks, obviously, but against like Satellers and B, even BA like Ritual Beast. This this just uh, opens up a lot of plays, and then it combos really good with this card. What uh, does this do? Swords, swords at dawn. Uh, this is basically another sacrifice. So um, what you do is this is always going to be in the grave turn one regardless. So what this does is that you um you equip it to an appropriate you equip an equip card to an appropriate target, and then you get to then it, it stays there until the end phase. So if they're like against um, one of the guys, one of the use my necklace, example. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Against one of the necklace guys, um, he I had a disc and I was at hundred life points and, and I, I had attacked this, with Valkyrie. He, he attacked with Valkyrie and I activated this. I brought and I brought the sacrifice. I wasn't able to get destroyed by battle and then you know I ended up winning that game. Just dies, yeah, absolutely. yeah. Then it falls off and then you get the search, yeah, the first free search, and then this is like this and this, <laughs> like this is like four cards off, just like that. Yeah. That's really good. Um, uh, that's it for the spells. Nothing pretty much it there. For the trap, best trap in the game. Triple mind crush, main, of course. <laughs> um, you you kind of have to run this at three. So Tellers, Shadals, Necros, Necros, and Necros. Those are. You gotta, you gotta hit that unicorn. I, this deck, I got Exiton so bad by this guy because <laughs> I, yeah, because I, I didn't have it, and you know, it, it just stops you from like losing. Yeah. Um, uh, another three finish chain. You need to make up for like getting not trying to get Exiton. They're like stopping uh, Satellers, stopping a bunch of stuff. Like, Trishula. Yeah, Trish, and uh, like Manjus. Uh, always, this is a really good card. It's a floodgate. Yeah. You could bounce it back up with stealth, which is another reason why this card is just so good. Uh, two Requiem. Fuck anybody that said anything bad about this card. It is good for what it is. It's a searchable fucking Venus chain. I open, open this every single time I played against Necros. Every time I had Necros, I would have one monster. I'd rather search this uh, rather than the rather than the sacrifice. This uh, ultimately puts you in against one of the Necros guys. He kept summoning Valk and and Trish, and because of I kept bouncing the shit back up, it gets banished instead. So that's, that's like really good against them. Uh, two mirror force helps you not get OTK'd by Valk or like Trish. Uh, the two soul transitions. It's a fucking reckless. It's a reckless greed with a compose and or an MST on it, and you know it's, it's really strong, especially when you're doing an end phase. Uh, then the, the the one lonies still still need to run them. That's never, never, back, basically. never drew these actually, and like in this whole tournament, I only drew it once against the Satellite guy, and then it was like a blowout. But other than that, I really didn't see them. Even if, even though I was like digging through my deck like so much with all these cards. Got to run up stuff. Exactly. <laughs> and then the one you kind of have to run this, and then the one the uh, size. It's forty cards, obviously. Yeah. yeah. yeah 40 cards. 
uh, side, triple vanities. Uh, you guys go do these against like every every deck just basically do, loses to this card. Uh, back that up with uh, three of those. Uh, two MST. I kind of wanted to go up against the the mirror match or like. Like I wanted an out to um to anti spell fragrance or uh, like something else. Uh, like, I don't know. This is really good. You know, just, I get you know any majesties at all? No, just like, two portal for it. I do run <laughs> two necro valley. Yeah, I had some bitch. I told you that I had a Two necro valley. This um this destroyed the cliff uh, the cliff formation. This destroyed against the uh, necros. I also cited this in against the tellers. I never drew it against the tellers, but this is really good. They can't they can't alter. Take any warriors. Yeah, yeah, they can't uh, like call the haunted via loin. They have to exit on just yeah like yeah. They have to either do that and then you have to back that up with like a phoenix chain or something. And that's really good. It's like really locks out uh, necros. Uh, two rivalry. This is the this is the MVP Fuck for. Fuck that card. I'm for, sorry. Fuck that. Card. Yeah, this was this was the MVP. Yeah, this was the MVP of. We uh, drew because of that card. This is the MVP against the. Uh, he dicked me game one, game two. I beat him in time. Against the necklace matchup. Um, this thing just it just wrecks against spirit, uh, spiritual beast. I just activated this and it was pretty much game. He couldn't he couldn't do shit. And then I just kept summoning 18 monsters and just poking them to like to death. And then uh, two light mirrors for the tellers. This is the tellers. It's a really hard matchup. It's like whoever goes first basically wins. And I always win like first game one. I won and game two. Did you two. always choose to go first uh, today? Yeah, hell yeah. Really? Oh hell yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? You need to you need to get that scout first turn with like a requiem or something. You need to start setting up. This deck isn't as fast as it used to be. You need to start. You need to go first. That's when every like necros person or they would tell me I could go first. I was like, dude, okay. Then scout, fucking requiem. Get ready. And then um, I never cited the same, but I mean it's always good to have it. In. Okay. Uh, in time, I guess. Yeah, and then uh, extra deck irrelevant. I never. I only made this once. <laughs> he just pops it down. <laughs> yeah, it's, I actually the ball chained into. Uh, and I put the scout back to the top of the deck. Yeah, that's the that's the. Only, and then it got more. the rest does it matter? Uh, just it doesn't really matter. I, yeah. Uh, so that's my idea. Uh, uh, you could bring back, I mean, do some crazy plays with this and model it and get some crazy. <laughs> you know, like the other Clifford player I played, like, the other red shirt. He ran three extra deck cards. Really? Three. I mean, I did it, did it just really I think they were like fusions or something. Yeah, that's about it. Well, he had three, but he brought the rest of the Alright, congrats, man. Anything else you want to say? Or? Uh, no. I think the only reason why I did so good was because a lot of people didn't sign in, like, the hate for Clifford. Like, they didn't sign in for Harry Wins, didn't sign in, uh, shit. Like, a lot, of, a lot of the cards to get rid of the floodgates yeah. and everything. Yeah. So, I, I mean, it's still a good deck, I mean, obviously, the top. You know. Alright, All right, right, congrats, man. Good All right, shit. Thank you.